I'm Carrie, the creator of Psycho Spiritual Wellness, a path to feeling normal around food using purely psychological and even spiritual practices. In this video, we're talking about what if I only overeat because food tastes good? Carrie, I have listened to all your videos, I've read all your blog posts, but I just disagree. I just overeat because food tastes really good. We're going to dive deep into this kind of block that our brains can give us. And I'm gonna keep this really short because I really want you to comment on this video, please, because I really wanna know if this resonates or not. So if you struggle with eating because food tastes good, let's dive into it. If you struggle with overeating because food tastes really good, no one can blame you. Food does taste really good, especially high sugar, high fat, high carb foods. They are delicious, high salt. Food does just taste good. And I can really relate when people kind of get a little bit, I don't wanna say hung up here, let's just say stuck here. Like, I don't agree with anything you've said so far because I just overeat because food tastes good. On one hand, this is a very clever way that our brains get around the difficult work of looking at our limiting beliefs around food, at looking at the negative emotions that drive us to overeat. Getting hung up on food just tastes good gives us a reason to not look deeper within and see where we're actually stuck. Because it's hard work, like my workbook, Why We Do the Things We Do. It is my bestseller by far. I did that freaking workbook after I made it, like a good chef that tastes their own cooking. And I still got things from it. And what this workbook does is it forces you to take a look under the hood. What is it that I believe about thinness, about worthiness, about food, about social dynamics? And a lot of people who do the workbook send me positive feedback. I also get a fair number of people that have bought the workbook but haven't done it yet. They feel resistance to it, they feel blocks to it. And it's because this work is really hard. It is, it's not comfortable to, look up the, to lift up the hood and look at our limiting beliefs. And so getting stuck at, I just overeat because food tastes good, is cutting you off from exploring those beliefs. So if you think that food tasting good is your only problem, get my workbook, why we do the things we do, and do the exercises. And if you genuinely don't stumble upon something juicy, you can ask me for a refund. I don't want your money unless I actually help you. The second reason why I think we can get kind of hung up on but food just tastes good is the inherent belief that we are weak and that we lack willpower. As you may or may not know, I firmly, vehemently believe, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's my new favorite word, I vehemently believe that everyone that struggles with compulsive eating, most people that struggle with compulsive eating have an enormous amount of willpower, but we don't feel like it because we overeat because food tastes good. We overeat even though we don't want to. And it's not because of lack of willpower. It is because you're probably not eating enough. I cannot tell you how many of my clients, 95% of them, are literally not eating enough. Because diet culture has trained us to eat 300 calories for breakfast, 400 calories for lunch, and then by the time dinner comes around, we are so freaking hungry, and we've been resisting the foods that we actually like, that we end up eating dinner, and then eating more food after that, and then the foods that we binge on are the super delicious ones that we've been restricting, and on the surface it looks like we're just eating because food tastes good because food does taste good. The foods that we like the most are the ones that taste good, and maybe they're the ones that you're not letting yourself have. So there's like three prongs, if you will, to psycho-spiritual wellness. One is the feelings that drive compulsive eating, and that's what the stop, drop, and feel is for. The other one is permission to eat. Are you letting yourself have the foods that you wanna eat? If you're not, you're not gonna feel satisfied by what you are eating, and then you are going to compulsively seek satisfaction from more food, and then maybe it will feel like I'm just eating because food tastes good, 
but the truth is that you've been depriving yourself of satisfaction and so you are compulsively seeking satisfaction through food because you did not let yourself have the foods that you wanted in the first place and then the third prong is your beliefs things like why we do the things we do things like therapy can help you dig up those hard to look at uncomfortable things that we just don't want to look at so if you struggle with I only overeat because food tastes so damn good. I, one, challenge you to do my workbook, Why We Do the Things We Do. Two, I challenge you to do the stop, drop, and feel in the moment where you want to eat just because food tastes good. Because on one hand, if you're not eating enough and if you are truly hungry, when you do the stop, drop, and feel, it's not going to work because the stop, drop, and feel is not a form of restriction and it should never be used as a form of restriction. And if you do the stop, drop, and feel when you want to eat just because food tastes good and you stumble upon something juicy, like I am stressed, I am lonely, I am struggling with rejection, I'm struggling with feeling resentful, these are the emotions that drive us to food. These are the emotions. And finally, if you struggle with, I just overeat because food tastes good, I encourage you to eat the foods that taste really good and eat them a lot and eat them frequently and often because you already have enough willpower to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. You are not weak. And if you eat the foods that you really enjoy and you don't wanna stop when you're full, do the stop, drop, and feel. And if you eat the foods that you really want and you're worried that it's gonna like be unhealthy and you're gonna become unhealthy, I guarantee you, you're gonna stop craving those foods, right? So we all go through this like rebellion binge rite of passage thing when we give up dieting, right? I have a video on the stages of giving up dieting. And most of us go through a phase where we binge on the foods that we previously restricted. And so maybe you're stuck there maybe you are binging on foods that taste really good because you tried to give up dieting bless your heart that is the best decision ever but then you're like not 100 percent all in maybe you're 95 percent all in maybe you're still trying to restrict sugar because you're convinced that sugar is the one food that's super bad and so you're trying to allow all foods except for sugar and then you're going to get stuck there because we can't restrict cannot restrict has to be 100 percent permission I, honest to God, lost my train of thought, but I hope the message is clear. You are not weak. You do not lack willpower. Food does taste delicious, and a lot of us overeat because food tastes good, but there is always something else underneath. Because if you really are just overeating because food tastes good, you have the willpower to stop. And if you don't have the quote-unquote willpower to stop, it's because you're either not eating enough you're not doing the stop, drop, and feel. You have emotions that are fueling compulsive eating that you're not aware of yet. A lot of us aren't aware of our emotions that drive compulsive eating. When I first got started with the stop, drop, and feel, I will kindly remind you, I talk about this a lot in my newsletters and blog, I was convinced it was just sugar addiction. I had just eaten lunch and I was craving candy. And then I was like, there's no way I'm actually so hungry. Let me like sit down and like, feel my feelings this was like a new concept to me at the time and then like bam I started crying and I had no idea literally no idea that I was sad before I stopped and so this is like the sort of way that we can get stuck because if we don't actually use these tools that I'm talking about We'll just like feel like we're it's just sugar addiction. It's just because food tastes good. Like if I hadn't actually stopped and sat down that day, stop, the stop, drop, and feel would have never been born and trademarked, baby. And I just would have never realized what was underneath. So even if you doubt me, even if you disagree, just give these tools a try and leave me a comment below. You agree if you disagree i would love to hear your thoughts sometimes i take like two weeks to respond to comments because even though i have notifications set up to go off on my phone and set up to be sticky and persistent as the iphone says they just they don't come through and then i forget to check but i promise i read and reply to every single one 
I'll add some useful links down in the description and hopefully some were popping off up here as this video was going on. And I will see you guys soon. P.S. I do this ish full time now. That's right. I do this ish full time. We are in my new office, which has a couch. I am so lucky. I am so grateful. I absolutely love what I do. You can expect to see more frequent emails, video videos, newsletters. And now I am done ranting. I try to save the personal-ish for the end so then I don't bore you with it in the beginning. And if you're still listening, it's because you're actually interested. So anyways, I think I should end it here.